Scorpio. Greetings. How are you? Hoping all is well. Welcome to Side Divine. If you are new to the channel, hopefully you like the content. If you do, subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. All right, Scorpio. Let's figure out the rest of October and November. Um, I keep hearing old song. The lights are on, but no one's home. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on with you. In love. So we got four of cups here. Let me get this a little bit closer. So we've got four of cups here. Sorry about that blur. I can't, oh. So there might be vision issues right now. Or my camera's not interested. Look at this. There we go. Okay, somebody might be realizing it's over, might be trying to salvage something. Salvage. The word was salvage. I'm also hearing savage. Somebody might be trying to restore a savage connection. Is that how it went? Hmm. Somebody wants the good thing back, right? That good thing. What's their action? A lot of thinking. Thinking of coming towards you. This could be uh, October, November. But I do feel like someone's already gone. Whether it's mentally, physically. Yep. Someone's back is turned on that offer. Oh boy. But here comes the wheel. And then more back turning antics. Why are these cards stuck together? Scorpio, as far as love is concerned, I do get the energy of somebody coming to, making a decision to change the way things have been going, change the battling, perhaps even turn their back on the situation. It can be two people, both people finally releasing, turning their backs on each other. Be aware of that. If this is a relationship that's happening and you guys are still living together, be mindful of back to be mindful of sleeping with y'all's back to each other. This can be because of cheating. Um, somebody realizing that they're not the only one. Broken heart data. I'm also getting this message. It's weird. If you're in what you think is a stable relationship, you ain't got no reason to worry. Make sure between here and the month of November, for whatever reason, you ain't having too many conversations about your past loves. I just saw, what I saw was an image of somebody going to an event like a alumni, uh, meeting people that you went to school with or running into people from way back in the past. And maybe there was a love interest or a love connection in the past. And you might be talking about that too much, Scorpio. It feels like... You might be talking about old memories 
in a way that feels like you want that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, so you want things like that? Like, mm. be mindful of talking about your past in a way that makes the person you're with feel like you're comparing them. That is back turned on you. I don't care. It's throwing things unnecessarily out of balance in a love connection by speaking in a way that feels like you're comparing. You might be making someone you might be making someone feel like all the work, their hard work in the connection is for nothing. Or that you don't see it, you don't give a fuck. You might be making somebody think that you're making choices or planning to make a hard decision, a hard choice, turn that wheel of fate. Ooh, let's get out of that. <laughs> let's see what's going on with your money. Hmm. Scorpio, between here and the month of November. What's your money looking like? The most concerning message. Okay. Scorpio, I'm gonna put these right side up, okay? Just so you can see the picture show. Be aware of having to re up. Re up, gang. I don't know what the gang part has to do with anything, but be aware of having to replenish what is spent. On partying, be aware of trying to spend too much money to impress someone who may not be impressed by that. You may be trying to um, be aware in the month of October and November, you may be trying to impress someone or go out a little bit more than you should. Do more than what is necessary. Impress someone or spend more than you have. Yeah. Be aware of being too generous with others who may be totally, who might find greater um, value in your attention and communication or <clears throat> better sex. <laughs> um, it feels like an opportunity for great communication in love and connections. So much, you know, improve, improve on the communication because I feel like, I feel like Scorpio, you or the person you're connecting with at this time um, doesn't want you to spend money on food when they might be wanting something else. They might be looking for that instead of all this, the partying and all this stuff. I hear Usher, old song. You make me want to say, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody would rather, someone would rather be screaming your name than have, and then opening bottles of champagne. Be aware. And also, okay. Don't let new connections coming and leave you in a needy place. It feels like having to um, 
pull money from other places because you've wasted it elsewhere. Squandered is the word I heard. Those of you that do choose creative ways to enjoy yourself. Hmm? Wow. Those of you who do experience the wounds of brokenness. <laughs> Those of you who do go suffer those slings and arrows. There is success on the other side. Let's see what that is. Okay, this is a weird message. They came out to me in reverse. If you're in a new connection, you being tighter with your money and the way you spend it is going to give you an opportunity to see how they deal with the lack of your balance or the absence of your balance, financial balance. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you might be getting blessed with an opportunity to see how someone is going to act when you aren't breaking yourself for them. You're gonna get to see how somebody thinks about not having the finest of the finest things that's, that have grass roots inside your bank account. <laughs> For some of you, this is somebody who wants um, a great level of connection with you, or they could already have a parental family type of connection with you. This is someone who feels entitled. This is someone who feels entitled to the point where they may walk around in an illusion about what shit should be for them. They expect, um, even if it leaves imbalances elsewhere in your life, that's not their problem. This person expects you to break them off first. Oh my goodness. I feel like in the month of November, Scorpio, you get to see somebody's selfish ways when you pull back on, okay, I hear an old song. You must be used to me spending and all that sweet whining and dining, but I'm beeping you tonight. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like a sexual doing it, but as I say that, there's... There's wands. Wands and cups. Licky, licky. It does feel like seeing somebody's tantrum behavior. Because you're not putting in the finest money. And you want sex, but <laughs> what are you doing to get it? Ew. Could even be someone cutting off their nose to spite their face with you. This is someone who um, can show you their ass in such a way that they forget the greater goal was family and long term connection. I feel like you're going to see somebody, somebody's like stone face. They're stone hard edge. They're rebellious. Um, greed energy. Expectation. Entitlement energy. Chariot. You may even move. Get the. Okay. You may get the return of a thought you might have already had about walking away from this connection. Okay, Scorpio. 
and wait as I move the cards there's five of swords you watching somebody walking away perhaps as even uh, there's even a possibility of taking back some of your energy as you watch them walk away taking back your your mental strength uh, the peace of mind or actual things taking them back That was in reverse. That was in reverse. So you may be choosing um, or you may be watching somebody help you make the choice to disconnect. Let me rephrase that. You may be seeing somebody cut up with you in a way that solidifies your decision or your late midnight quiet thoughts of moving forward. Somebody might show you their ass. In 3D, and I don't mean in a pretty erotic way either. Maybe somebody shows you their selfishness. And you might be like, you know what? I was thinking about cutting this off. I was thinking about cutting this cord. But you know what? Cool. Thank you for helping me make that decision. Okay. Uh, any behavioral advice for Scorpio on that? Look at, I just said that. Give peace of mind a chance. Be aware of being so familiar or growing up with a certain amount of chaos that you might actually date someone who reminds you of what you're comfortable with. Side message. I'm going to stop there. Let's see what's going on with your money. What's the money like? I feel like. Okay. Scorpio in money. That's weird. Um, with regards to money, be mindful of dangerous encounters. I feel like side message, or it could be the main message. Don't be so focused on your phone or your in-pocket data device that you miss A dangerous encounter going in the wrong direction um, it feels like Lord listen here's my here's what I'm sensing get off the phone when you drive between here and the whole month of November no on the phone or distracted with any computer screen while you're walking or driving period if you're doing something that should be paid attention to, make sure that's what you're doing. Money. Why? I really get the energy of a possible accident that needs help dragging some, could be dragging someone, false person. Um, you may have some type of accident or hopefully you'll miss this. Okay. Cause you're paying attention. But at this time I see could be having an accident with someone who is of a different race, nationality, a foreigner who will become an enemy. Oh my God. Even more so. Um, it could be a situation where somebody may be speaking of dying or almost dying. That's a graveyard down there at the bottom of that, right? So this could be a fatal accident or someone claiming a near fatality. 
and the wrong cameras will be watching. There'll be interviews about this. High anxiety, job loss, this could be also, um, as I say, phone distraction. This can be drinking or being high behind the wheel of a car or with somebody who's messed up behind the wheel of a car in an accident. So I do need you, Scorpio, to be extra on it here and in November when it comes to transportation, um, doing important things under the influence or being with someone who's under the influence and whatever this is affects work. So hopefully this isn't happening at work. Whatever it is, it's something you'll have to cover your ass. You'll have to cover your ass and tell the truth about what happened. And that's my card of force. Fast action, fast theft, fast event um, that causes really bad damage. And as I say that, I see a vehicle dragging a body. I'm going to stop right there. Let's see if there's any other alerts. I'm putting this deck back because that was the roughest. I hope that you're not in front of that car or in it. Okay. You got the message. Be extra vigilant. Let's see what um, other alerts. Scorpio needs between here and November. Okay. Scorpio, I remember my messages are always the most um, striking the most important so if your date ain't in this read and applaud yourself and have some ice cream but this will be for the Scorpio somebody's looking for you for debt okay somebody's looking for you they want their money hmm? somebody want their money they may be moving into a different um, place of aggression about it I see wheels rolling backward. Be cognate, be aware of repossession or somebody coming to take back their stuff. This may be, this may require picking up extra work or being away where the, whatever the thing is, I'm not even going to give that advice, but. <laughs> You may have to watch your things. If this involves a vehicle or an item that you're still making payments on, be mindful of them. Somebody wanting their stuff back. Three of Pentacles. That was in reverse. This brings conflict. To clarify. This is El Problemo. Queen of Cups. Ooh. And then the devil. Okay. Well, you know. Um, be mindful of your financials. I don't want to say that this is like forgetting to pay a bill. This is paying a bill and then ain't no lights on. This is um renting something and then or leasing something and they're coming to get it back they're holding on to the debt any advice for 
Okay, I was going to that. Oop, that's a lot. Forced endings. Stop focusing on damage. You can you might even be able to sense that this event is coming. And there may be a desire um, to craft up some ideas on how to keep things in the direction you want or to hang on to the things that you want. Nonetheless, here's an option to evolve or repeat old cycles or repeating the payments, monthly payments that might be needed. is someone who feels like Scorpio you might not feel like you have any blessings to count that's not true at the bottom of the deck be still breathe focus love silence silence while you go through the block of karma See if there's any advice for the Scorpio for to the Scorpio who needs this message the most. Has your money has Scorpio's money improved by the end of November? Naturally, now this don't apply to everybody, but there's definitely some losses that have to happen. Restructuring of finances, um, there's a lesson here. But something, some type of financial bondage breaks, and it feels more like a situation of you can't afford it. And while you may not want to release the situation, you can't see any other path. I keep getting a no. I keep getting a no. So this is a for every Scorpio, but whoever was going through that data before, things don't improve. Maybe because someone has spent too much time craving what they want, not seeking what they need. This can be someone's cheating or scamming coming back to get at them too. You might, you might have scammed the wrong person, might have taken from the wrong person. And they might not be making you a target or their next target. This is a test. And it ain't no blessing. So you know if you owe, if you owe and people are looking for you, handle that because between here and November, they'll be making a different kind of target in the way they focus on trying to get their money from you. Okay, let's move on to strictly just feelers. General awareness for Scorpio. Balance. Okay. Lord of Abundance, that was in reverse. And the Daughters of the Record. So this does feel like negotiations will be a thing. Be mindful of that. Um, what energy? Does Scorpio need to be in to deal with important negotiations? You need to be careful and patient. This is balance keeps coming up. Um, plans, reasoning, 
and being careful and sensitive in the way you communicate. Jeez, okay. I got three sixes here. <laughs> so there is a cautious, must be cautious in the way you communicate. Somebody feels cheated. Kind of maybe doesn't care how you are talking or acting. So where it involves money and paying things back, problem solving is important to learn whether it's going to work or not knowing. What you want to do if you are doing any type of money negotiations, Scorpio, you want to go from a emotional place or you want to look like you care, right? This is my card about lacking empathy, not understanding your contribution or not willing to speak on your contribution to the situation in order to correct it. And this can be clash of the titans type of energy. Two people who both think that they're right. One or more people opposite each other who think that they are right. What they say is right, what you say is wrong. They want to control the situation. Um, oh boy. Good luck with that, Scorpio. Okay. Are there any closing messages for Scorpio? October, November. In the day, <coughs> <coughs> ooh, that was weird. I just start coughing. <coughs> Nonetheless, Queen of Cups in reverse. Fuck that bitch. Be aware of dumping or be aware of turning your back on one type of energy for another. You may need to hold your back. You may need to stand your ground against a feminine energy. It goes back to what I was saying before. Maybe someone feels entitled, like you owe them something. Be aware of how you deal with egotistical feminine energies. I'm going to stop there because this feels like a bitch symphony. Ooh. Sorry, Scorpio. Maybe that data will go further in other readings. Ah. October, November feels like you're dealing with a bitch symphony. And the whole thing is over some dick. Okay. Side message. Don't fight with other women in the month. In the next month and some change. It almost feels like there's a masculine who enjoys watching that. Don't be fighting over no dick. Okay? You may have to cut somebody out. If they make you feel like you got to fight over them, you may have to let somebody know in the month of November that you are no longer waiting for them. You're not going to put up with their shit anymore. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you might be feeling that, feeling that feeling. You might be feeling inspired. You might be feeling inspired to walk away from some old shit not serving you well because you could do better. Right? Naturally. And you might have to let somebody know that shit. They might have to know. And it ain't nothing that can be told. That kind of game is not told. Okay? It is sold when they can see it with their own two eyes as it should be. So you may be the catalyst to someone's awakening. I don't think it's going to last long. I think it's going to be an awakening for like five minutes. But nonetheless, you'll be free. Hmm? Free of headache. I hope this was helpful, Scorpio. 
stay strong during October and November. Stay strong and watch the way you communicate. Don't let motherfuckers know that you're mad. There is a game here on earth to be played in some instances, especially with the certain games that are played upon us as a people. So it feels like someone um, getting, grasping a sense of their emotions, grasping their emotions and Okay, I hear Aerosmith and Run DMC. Walk this way, talk this way. Walk this way, talk this way. And just give me a kiss. <laughs> so you might have to um, use your grace and your tact and your, your other side. You don't have to rip faces off to get what you want. It feels like negotiations can be had using honey and sugar and not vinegar might have might be necessary in some situations right nonetheless i hope this was helpful remember scorpio you are well thank you for watching we'll see you next time